Hello and welcome back to Start Your ATM Business Consultation. If you're watching this, that means you're definitely excited and definitely interested in getting started and that I've done a good job at explaining about the ATM business. Thank you. Now I'd like to explain to you about just a few more bulletin points we have here about the ATM business. Uh, we've gone we've gone through quite a few uh, quite a bit of information about how to get started, how to load your machine, etc. Now I want to go over about information you need to know and uh, information that will make will make you feel a lot more comfortable about your position as an ATM operator and an ATM owner. So ownership documents you would need to know how you own this ATM machine. Now, once you've signed an agreement with us, you will sign what's called a purchase agreement, where we transfer all the assets and all the rights of the ATM and the ATM contracts that we have to you or your business or you as a proprietor. Once this signed over, you're 100% owner of the ATM and the assets and the contract. You're not a leasee, you're not leasing a machine, you're not renting a machine, you're purchasing a machine and you will get a bill of sale with 100% ownership proof. So you will be an ATM owner, 100% ATM owner. Okay, hope that clears that part for you. Legal operator status. Now, your status, will, you'll be an ATM operator, and you'll be operating under a bank an ATM processing bank, which will reveal that information to you once you decide to get started. And um, as an owner, you'll be required to pass the background check. Once you pass the background check, you'll be listed as an ATM operator. Now you can actually open a bank account with an ATM to operate an ATM business, okay? Liability, an ATM insurance. The liability that stands with an ATM machine is the risk of someone stealing your machine, uh, risk of someone damaging your machine, or the risk of someone just really doing whatever they want to do with your machine, which will devalue the machine. Now, the good thing about us is that when we place these machines for you, when we help you place these machines, you place these machines in a safe and secure location. You're not placing the, these machines in the outside, it's on the inside. We usually require in our contracts, in our agreement, the ATM agreement for the location that the ATM location has a general liability insurance which protects any assets and property, which includes your ATM machine. So that location is required to protect your machine. So that clears up as far as the liability and damages that may be caused uh, to your ATM machine. Um, if that does happen, then they'll need to file a claim. If you felt a little bit more secured to protect your machine independently, you can do that by getting an insurance, which costs very minimal. If you're insuring just the actual machine itself, if you wanted to insure the cash, that's another insurance you would need to take out as well. We can explain to you how that works. But all those are different options you have, just to explain. This is a pretty quick and easy session. Now, I just wanted to recap about the ATM business. An ATM is an automated teller machine that allows you to withdraw cash. Customers can use your machine and you get paid each time they do a withdrawal from your machine. How much do you make? You can make as much as the location does. So everything has to do with the traffic of the location, it's all in, all about real estate. So if you have a great location, you can make as much average as nine hundred dollars a month, and as much as two or three thousand dollars a month per ATM machine, with as little investment as six thousand dollars. So your investment compared to your return in investment is pretty stagnant. All right, so staggering. Um, so as far as Operating the machine, you can operate yourself or we can operate it for you. We can manage and operate your machine for you at a fee of 33%. If you decided to operate your machine, you make more profit. Of course, you have to cash load it yourself. 
As far as cash loading the machine, it doesn't require a lot. As long as the cash doesn't run out of the machine, that's all that matters. So you can load your machine with as little as $500 or even $1,000 per machine. Now, the frequency of you going to the machine would depend on how much you put in the machine. So if you wanted to go to the machine once a week, you may want to put about $1,500 or $2,000 a week, depending on the type of location. If you wanted to go once a month, if it requires $1,500 a week, then you times four weeks for a month, and you're looking at about six to $8,000 a month one time. And that will require only one visit to the location, which was about three, two to three hours a week. So if you're looking at a part-time uh, position, employing yourself and making a full-time income, this is the business to do that. As far as your, as far as your investment, each time someone withdraws from your machine, you make a percentage on that. So if they withdraw $20 from your machine and you're making $3, you're making over 10%, you're making about 13%. Now, in some cases, we put it on percentage where you can make as much as as much as much 20 or 30% in each withdrawal from your machine. You tell me where you can make 15 and 20% on a $20 investment. Then maybe I'll consider doing that business. Now, as far as getting into business, you would need to do your own due diligence to understand if this is a choice for you. And if this is a choice for you, we're here to support that choice. Um, you can also give us a call at 954-740-7277 for more information. Or you can go to startyouratmbusiness.com. Your next consultation would be a over the phone consultation. If you decided to move forward from all the information we've given you, you can give us a call or you can go to a website, startyouratmbusiness.com and book a consultation session. Thank you and we look forward to serving you.